Hi, this is Dan Jurgens, and if you want to have a good time, keep listening to the Krypton Report. It's a bird. It's a plane. This is Jason J. Lewis, the voice of Superman on Justice League Action. This is Mark Wayne, writer of Superman Birthright, and you're listening to the Krypton Report. The All Things Kryptonian podcast, including Superman and Supergirl. We discuss games, movies, cartoons, TV shows, and comics. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Welcome to the Krypton Report. This episode is brought to you by five years of waiting. Five long years of watching footage, waiting, listening, rumors, glimpses, photos, meticulous AT&T commercials. That's right. Today I'm discussing the second or the first of the official trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice and I'm not doing it alone, no, no. As much as I can talk by myself, I'm bringing along the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. James Cole, the man of steel himself. How are you doing? I think, uh, I think we could all probably talk by ourselves just on and on and on and on about the whole Zack Snyder's Justice League and then, and then the trailer here that we got. I mean, I was talking with a, a good friend of mine today, uh, Mike, on the show once years ago, uh, <clears throat> about just, I was like, man, like, yeah, think about this. The first trailer that we got was in 2016, July, as a comic con. It's the one that had the white stripe dump on it. And we were all so pumped that was back still. You know, we got that trailer, which was a Zack trailer, and then we got the next trailer, which was a Zack trailer. It wasn't until the third trailer that it became a... Uh, and I mean, we've talked about it extensively here. We're, 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 we're here, man. We're in the home stretch. Uh, so let, let's, let's get into everything. Um, so about... Say what are we like thirty days now? Uh right yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> so a little bit ago, Zack Snyder tweeted out all consecutively, might I add, three different posters for uh Justice. And with the uh, official uh release date. Yeah, the official release in March, which feels good because I mean, you know, he always released PBS. Uh, the I don't remember the order that they came out. They came out like back to back to back, but one was the because if you remember his original teaser poster was like the Justice League JL with the star, and yes. the shiny. That was his original teaser poster put out uh, way back when. So this one is the just the uh, JL with the star like rock felt crushed rubble. Then there's the poster that it, uh, rubble with flags tattered like death Superman Kate with like hidden Easter eggs inside the bubble. Yeah, like Aquaman's tried and Wonder Woman's shield and Batman's cowl. Yep. The third one was, it looks like where that Justice League crest was, but it's a film film coming out of it. So, of those were pretty good. You know, they're, all, they're all black and white. I'm not, you know, I'm not a huge, like, black and white kind of movie person when it comes to modern film unless your movie was originally made to be black and white there's really a purpose behind it. Uh, like Bank you know, it's on Netflix there's a reason why they did it black and white so those were exciting we, we lost our junk because we didn't know they dropped the date or anything all of a sudden beep, there it was 
Heck yeah, those posters were everywhere. Scroll down everything on social media, they were just all over the place, plastered. And I want to say it's, so that would be when it comes out about one year since they announced it was coming to HBO Max. It was, it was about March, it was May officially. Uh, it was May. Was it May? It was, uh, May 20th, I believe, was the uh, Man of Steel watch party. Okay, well, I am really yeah, off. it was pretty positive it was May 20th. I feel like it was a little earlier. They, they did the BVS maybe in March, but <laughs> the, um, the Man of Steel was in May. Okay, I mean, I believe this in the come on, year we've all had. But, okay, so it was a little under... I got the M right. Okay, I got the M. Yeah, the, this this last year has felt like three, so. But I'm just glad that, you know, there was some people trying to rumor saying it wouldn't be until November, and I was like, nah, I can't do it. Okay. Um, Announce it and still take a year and a half to release it? Yeah. So. I they, mean, less than a year to, to bring it out, finish VFX, and do the do the additional photography and, and edit it for a different format, but yeah, uh, yeah, less I mean, than a year. Since you know Zach decided to go with this uh, more box squared ratio for the film. Yeah, I guess it's full IMAX, which is one three three. Yeah, it's uh, a, it's a lot more vertical. You get you get very far vertical. Um, and, and it's, it's just designed for, for a different type screen. So the, the square looking image that we all see when we watch it, I mean, that's the, that's the format of the movie because it's based in, um, it's based for a much larger screen. No, it's so weird. I was, I've been doing a lot of read about it. A very interesting uh, it looks like right it looks like 4-3 because of you know the square look and, and the way old shows are made for square televisions back in the day now everything's widescreen yep. um, which is uh, the 16-9 ratio yep. uh, yeah and the one three, the one three three. uh yeah, just just designed for the those massive IMAX screens. Just like when you watch a movie, kind of, it's a little bit of a blend when you watch a movie, and you'll have your black bars and everything, and then uh, you'll see it go to IMAX, fills up the whole picture to me, and when the IMAX scene is over, back the black bars and everything. So interesting. So such an interesting. Uh, thing to dive into. So we get that post. We're all pumped. Have a date. We've all requested off work and are planning <laughs> our life. Um, the, about a week or so later, we get two photos tweeted out of Jared Leto in his Zack Snyder joke. And what did you think of these photos? Well, before I say to you, well, you know, first we got the blurry photo with the card. The card pretty iconic. Um, in the in the blurry photo, you know, you just sees you just see what looks to be like bigger lips, almost a bigger smile type look, um, and long hair. And uh, I mean, in my opinion, I just I was like Jared Leto. Jared Leto's got long hair. Like we are more likely getting Jared Leto's Joker in the nightmare scene. So sure. You know what I mean? It didn't necessarily strike me the way everybody else did because like, Oh, he was long hair. And the last version of Joker we got was Joaquin Phoenix. Um, I just, I just figured <laughs> Jared Leto has long hair right now. It maybe can't cut it from contract or something or maybe some project he has going on. So there doesn't oh, it's, it's yeah, I mean it's part of his image in, in a lot in most of his um in most of his forms of you know, media, uh, uh his music and 
um, everything he does, movies and stuff. So, I mean, I am a, you know, just you know, not good on the rabbit hole of this Joker, but I like short hair Joker as far as hair. Uh, right. So it is a little like, oh, okay. Uh, it is going to be a little strike just seeing the long but over, but it'll be cool. Uh, I'm excited to see it. Uh, so the image, you know, of, of the Snyder Leto Joker looks very like the, it me of like a little bit of like a butcher or something on the meat coat, butcher coat, great jack something thing. And it's very interesting because like the white on him looks very uh the um yeah the it that's what I thought it was straight jack. Uh, you know the two images like one of him sitting in the air and one is him to up close on his face. The, the white makeup looks, it looks thick, not as a, it looks more like me, should I say. Like his other Joker appearance looks like it's white skin, just a little bit more like mm. Or does it just stand out because of the black and well I mean even as you know, we'll get but even in other right. uh it kind of uh, you know, and then the lips look a little bit more smeared, like red, uh, compared to like the very red teeth. Because I mean, a lot of people are comparing this new look to Ledger. Uh, and I'm, I can see the comparison, uh, but it's still Leto Joker, just. Now we don't have facial tattoos. They look like they're gone. Like scars are but we don't have damage or the ear or anything. They're all gone. Yeah. The um I mean I'm not uh I I liked his Joker and I mean I was kind I was kind of okay with the majority of his tattoos. Um, you know. It did get a little overboard, but him having tattoos, I, I, uh, the Joker seems like a person. If if you took him down that road, that he would go over with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's just the personality. Um, yeah, the 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 red around the lips. I mean, yeah, I just, I don't know. I mean, is it all make it? Is it makeup? Is he doing it to kind of look like a smile? Um, like really big lips? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll it's, it's, a, it's a scary look. Yeah, it is a scary look. No, but maybe it'll make more sense. It Joker in the air. It's, it's perfect. Well, you know, I think if, if we do get a good a good turnout for um, Zack Snyder's Justice League, and it's a and it's a major windfall for HBO Max. Then, then maybe the likelihood of getting his performance in full would be much better. Because, I mean, in all honesty, they would have to they wouldn't have to invest as much money in it because they didn't change things until way late in the game for the reshoots. Yeah, to add the comedy in. And and um, change some things a little bit, but that was actually pretty late. The entirety of his of David Ayer's movie was actually pretty much already cut screen. Nope. Oh, take that. So we got that. That of course, you know, everyone's now like preparing to do Ledger and Walk. Whatever people want to talk. I don't know. do what they want. Um, and then we got a tweet saying that on Valentine's Day, we would be getting a trailer. Happy Valentine's Day. 
<laughs> Pretty much best Valentine's Day gift I've ever gotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, it definitely ranked up. And you know what was weird was it said 9 o'clock Pacific, which would be 12 o'clock here. We had it all marked on our calendars, but then at like 10, 14, I get an alert from Warner Media's YouTube that there's trailer. And I send the link, and then like a few minutes later, after I've already watched it, that kind of it out. So, and the kids basically pull off the uh, side of the road, pull out the... Uh, Heck yeah. Um, well, I guess I guess from what I heard, there was some Reddit leaks or something had something to do with it. So oh they released it early as to beat the, the leak stuff. They wanted the official That's cool. stuff out first. So. so are you ready to get into... Oh, wait. Man, we totally skipped over Okay, so backing up just a hop, skip, and a jump. Um, <laughs> three days. Three days before this. Three days before this, we got <laughs> an 18-second trailer that said three days, which we'll discuss in the trailer. Now, it's not worth it. And then we got two days. Considering, the though, we got three trailers, three, two, one, um, and, and showing different images and different snips, different bits of character, they let off with the strong one first, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I, I kind of, yeah, there, there was that great shot in the second one. Um, spoilers. Dark You're side. talking about the war? Oh, okay, of Dark Side. Yeah, of Dark Side. And no, that's the one with the war machine, with the bat tank. I'm not. Two, a, and that same one, that's wasn't in the third, that? That's that in the third two? One. That's in the third one. Was that in the third one? Okay. I, you know, honestly, I could care less about that. I'm just pretty, I'm just excited to see that something so massive on page, something, you know, uh, that when we watched it in the animated movie and read it in the book, you know, um, on the streets and of Gotham, it was just this huge, massive tank. Like, mm -hmm. it's pretty awesome just to see that going to be realized on on film. I, I mean, I on agree. screen. I agree with that. I'm just, it's just not my... Uh, we've talked... We've talked... Frank. Uh, right. So, I mean... Not, not like, oh my god! Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty awesome. I haven't read a whole lot of Frank Miller's. Obviously, one of my... Uh, you know, some of my favorite that he's done is is Batman Year One and uh, The Dark Knight Returns, so. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this. <clears throat> Two minutes. Let's start. Press play. Um, we see Superman. See a they but what we're experiencing, how did and it looks like, like study, like it's, uh, human face already pulled out of the test, but as Kelly, she go rip, and Kelly, and that, it looks like, oh, And we see the rip city battle out. Those that's by Earth out. Well, we get we get three three ripples that come out of out of him mm -hmm. and like they just ever expand and it's like one, two, three, how they, how they hit the mother boxes, how the, 
the scream signals the mother boxes to activate, turn on, awaken. Yeah. I mean, for lack of a better term, you know, awaken the mother boxes, like um, they say in the third, in, in the theatrical version. That's, that's up one of the earlier. Oh yeah, I think I think that's the I think that's the opening is the death of Superman. Like so we got the opening to BVS as uh Bruce's point of view on the the Black Zero event. And um we see it from another from another perspective and uh how it lines up. So I think we're gonna see this one from a different perspective. Um and and like what his death is going to like signal it it rings out into the universe you know um i mean cuz we've talked about it before how we're going to see in this movie that Uxus and and the armies of apocalypse are um uh uh ran from earth uh and and we had gods and lanterns um and Amazons and Atlanteans all fighting, all all joining and fighting for Earth. And then, you know, we've got the death of the gods in Wonder in this Wonder Woman story. We've got Ares left. And then he's dead. Um I just I think there's a lot of things down the line that just are gonna Things, thing, uh, a lot of threads that are con- going to connect to the events of how they transpire at the beginning of this. Um, and then the next scene we've got is uh, the the shockwaves go across the water, and then we get Themyscira, we get the island of Themyscira. And interesting, we see what looks to be the mother box vault collapsing off of the cliff side after we see the the policy it looks see see what off to her right you see the you see the the ground crumbling i wonder if they're not getting rid of this after the mother box is taken Mm -hmm. you know um I mean, unless for some reason it's a way to try and get rid of the mother box to protect it from Steppenwolf, but I that I don't know. Um, that's the only other possibility I could think of. But but if it's the same visual, I mean, we we get the the look across the mascara in this trailer of like the archway, kind of like the introduction to it as we got in the theatrical version, and um, if that's that's the mother box vault. So. Yeah, I see what you're saying. See the ground start to fall, then like the vault. Then we see the Warner Media Company. So, then we see Batman Nightmare. That is going to play out more. Apocalyptic ships flying. We get this. We get the shot of where Diana arrives at the temple. On Scott, get her inside a temple or some place. Get to really know where, where she sees basically at it. Our, our, oh, awesome. Yeah, it makes me wonder because the outfit that she goes to get the arrow in the ruins. Um, obviously, it's a signal she knows about. Um, I wonder if, if this if, if this mural and this, this story on the wall isn't secretly hidden in those ruins. I mean, it's the same out. Exactly. I think so- she goes and learns some of the story from this from the from these walls. It makes me wonder if this is like as she this that 
like things kind of like cut to the history lesson. Because originally we were learned that it was supposed to be open. Uh, the kind of thing where, like, death of Superman, you know, like you're talking about, then the history lesson, then we go in the uh, story. See her looking at Dark Side, then we get shot, this giant ball of what looks like Dark Side on Earth. Looks like look off the back. Stuff crumbling, but we see Dark Side walk with scores of carrot on the side, and then behind him, Sod. Yeah, now, full fledged dark. This is our shot, our first shot of dark. Not Yuxus, but straight up. Um, awesome. yeah, I mean, this, I mean, the shot is either a hall on apocalypse or, or, you know, a hall on earth after he's taken it over, um, possibly, you know, like you said, buildings in the background. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, that's awesome. A reveal, a, a video reveal of dark side. We saw his exist before. And yeah, Desaad and Granny, fantastic. I mean, the fact that Granny, we had no idea. There had always been rumors about Desaad with um, but we never knew. No God. Yeah, man. we're as getting we some know. new gods. As far as we know, no God. But after. so then the next step uh, on Earth. Bowing for it looks like dark side is and going down uh it's like fiery then we get both of and it step him body armor has come off yeah it looks like the armor retracted or something it's a very interesting image this is a very different interpretation here. Even the movie's interpretation. Uh, Joss does, like, Steppenwolf looks more human. Um, and his armor is what gives him that kind of odd-shaped head. This is a whole different but Yeah. Um, I mean, we did get that in, in the comics. I mean, how many different planets across the universe are going to have beings that look exactly like humans? Like, I'm not I mean, having a lot of similar characteristics, arms, legs, you know, uh, nose, eyes, mouth. I mean, similar build type of thing, but, you know, obviously genetics and, and, and evolution to um, adapt to the worlds that they've all lived on. But how many other races look exactly like humans across the cosmos. Oh, I know. I'm not against it. I'm totally okay with making the apocalypse like a uh, certain, you know? Yeah, style. aliens, creature-esque almost. I mean... And if you if you slow down the frame, see that both, right before it changes, you start to continue to see his arm uh, crack. Like on arm. Yeah. Then we cut to the Amazons on a horseback. Dropping down and hitting the earth. And this scene where he hits the ground on the island, <coughs> there, there was actually a twist from they were hitting it that was like them working. We actually see it on and throw arrows. Not in the trailer, but it was, um, we see. In the trailer, though, he whacks some. He whacks an Amazon right off of the horse, and it looks like there's a decent little blood spray there. Yeah, there is. Spike. Um, cut. We get the Batman 
uh, Bruce Wayne talked to Aquaman about four years. See Diana with tough stuff. Then we get a shot, like, a better Aquaman in it. Very, like, I mean, it's a frack sec of, like, Aquaman's face staring almost at the as he's well, you say it, you say Atlantis, but it's a devil outpost, right? It's, it's, a, it's a hidden, it's a hidden area where they keep the mother box. Uh, correct. New information, mm-hmm. uh, but um, the next shot is cyborg, in, which is to be part of like a knight, has both his arm, gun. Last flash part. A little bit more bat bat here. Wonder Woman being BA inside the tunnel fight. Yep. Ducks fighting. Then we get to see my man Jeremy Pine. He has a line about uh chart pull. Uh, don't hate her. Don't split it up. Talk. I'm all chucked up. Um, I know, right? Don't swing the red tape. Yeah, if you can't take down the charging bull, don't wave the red cape at it. And then we step off front one up drop. And that's Chris Terrio's dialogue right there, man. Yes. All right, we'll get the scene all the projection. I believe anything Jeremy Irons tells me. I would just sounds too wise. He has that voice that sell me. Yeah. Like right. Right. <laughs> we see the red god black like banner and look up. Now, this I didn't realize was pointed out to me. The shot of Yuxus hitting the ground. Yeah. They've actually went ahead and they've uh, rendered the image or changed up a tweet of the person that was pointing out the original time we saw uh, Yuxus first shot, how different it is. It's continued better. Uh, yeah, he does look a lot better. Then we get God of John Kent. Call it water, life. Uh, it's, it's like the Genesis amniotic fluid. That's there we go. See cyborg different people of that like airport or just big stone jacket. You see the shot at word um different color. We have Aquaman that we saw in the original trailer. Stops. Have very iris car crash head. And really cool looking super speed movement during that during that rescue iris from the car crash scene. Yeah. I just want to see the whole scene. Yeah. Be cool Absolutely. Uh and then we get to see Batman. So there's step. There's Batman. See the block. But we. It's like part of what we've seen before. We block last his pocket, but then he turned like block different. See, one Awesome. Park on the farm. But then we have old oh crap. Yep. Flight two po- first flight two point oh. It was Jonathan Rock and oh looks up takes off. But it's like he goes up as touch of slide block. Shot of them Tira. Steppenwolf looks like inside break. And there 
there's your bat on that. Um, there you wait. Like, yeah, there, there was a longer seek. It was a longer shot. In the um, in the in the fifteen second teaser. <laughs> Ironically, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was for the bat because because you got to see all the way down to the back of it. That's why people know that it's the bat tank because of the design, the literal like neck looking design of it. I mean, parts of it look identical to, from the book. Then we have the end gallon carry on the flat, which I could always tell that was something. Um, then we get Cyborg holding the mother box, last back. It's like we see his face in the foreground, the very breast awe, very uh, light in the eye. Uh, Steppenwolf underwater. Yeah, I think that's when he's going to get, like, the images revealed. He's going to learn stuff. Yep. Um, Steppenwolf underwater in outpost mother box. Oh, park. That drop. Wonderful. Very. Um. That part where it looks like the time is going backwards. That's another scene. I just want to see the full scene. I feel like I've seen so many little segments of it. Um, the scene where the flying fox, they're all walking out, which is awesome. Uh, then we, we get have, some history scene, uh, the history lesson shots of Amazons and Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta. And then, we get, land. and then we get the uh, Diana start talking about the crew that we had seen in early night of the um, at my Aqua Park right there. Wonder Woman Wonder. hit step back. Cyborg's barrel roll. And then real quickly Hot Superman. Uh, the Black Costume the side. Damn. Shot. <laughs> right. Black suit Superman in front of Boom Tube, glowing red eyes, heat vision, blasting downward. <laughs> Back same. Which we had seen that are you for trailer? Back. First spot. That turn or cyborg back. Here's that ocean. They're 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 selling it. They're like, we got we got a little bit of Joker. This is what's gonna be in the film. Like you're gonna see everything he shot, <laughs> at least for this this time. <laughs> I mean, think about all all the stuff. Like, the more I think about it, like we're gonna see Brian Boy, we're gonna see Jesse Eisenberg, we're gonna see Willem Dafoe as Volko. Then of course we're supposed to. Be in all right, let me let me ask you something, okay? So if we would have gone. The route that they were going um, before all of this, if they would have released Zack Snyder's Justice League and it would have been his movie and stuff like that, and they would have stayed the course, right? He would have had a number of these characters would have still been in there. Not all of them, but a number of them would have still been in there. And Warner Brothers is looking for the quote unquote Marvel formula. They want the they want the um, um, continual world building. Yes, yeah, yeah. The, the continuity, interconnected movies that continue to build. They want the, they want the the unity, and they decide to go. They they decide to go into Justice League and cut out 
all of these DC Universe characters. Like, doesn't it make sense just the kind the different way that Zack Snyder did it? Like, he literally in three movies, he blows the freaking, um, he blows the DC world wide open by introducing so many of these characters. Like, you introduce Superman, then you introduce the Trinity, and then you blow the world open with the Justice League. And can't everything build off of that? Don't you think that it could have gone, you know what I mean? If they would have, like, they, they should have stayed the course with what they were doing. If they changed direction by by making different movies, that's one thing. Like, like changing the movies that they want to make, that they want to put into production, but literally cutting these movies that they already have into these cookie-cutter things, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, because originally his plan was about you know, uh, what do you call it? He was going to do his art five art post after just art, kind of like back. Yeah, the, the next movie after Justice League 2, they could do a flashpoint and boom. They could have like, all right, here we're going for just a slightly different. Either way, um, I'm so happy we're getting this and, um, <laughs> yeah, I. It, it's crazy to think of of what they what they did to to all these movies, trying to. I don't even. I mean, just trying to do what Marvel did by creating a universe of shared and connected movies, and then they just they did what they 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 did what they did with Justice <laughs> Suicide Squad just. So that is the trailer. We now have two HBO Max, and we have two older that can uh, I'm good. Like I heard some a rumor that post another trailer before it comes out. Uh, that'd be okay, cool, but I'm good. You know? uh, well, I, you know, we got a we got a four-hour movie. That's a lot of footage. I mean, if they show, if they did a small trailer, obviously nothing too revelatory. Another general audience trailer. You know what I mean? Bring some, just get people's attention. And you know, we, death we all. And suppose uh -huh. we're supposed to have some more death strokes. Um, supposed to actually get the scene of death stroke. That'll be awesome. See Manganiello, see Zack Snyder's Deathstroke. Yeah, like I mean, that's another one that we like. <laughs> just trying to remember, you know, like all the stuff that. Uh, that seems like a character tailor made for Zack Snyder's sensibilities. Yeah. <laughs> right. That, um. So yeah, that is that. Let us know what you guys thought. Email us. Um, let us know. Like, we're excited. Oh. Yeah. Look up in the sky. <laughs>